What's up, guys? It's your boy, Marky V. Or as, like, the long hair community here in my area call me, El Barbon! That's what they like to call me over here. It's all good in the hood, if you know what I'm talking about. But we're here just uh, sitting down because everybody, because uh, it's rain. well, it's raining. But a lot of you been asking me, believe it or not, hey, where's the daily downtime, man? I want to see another daily downtime, so why not? do a daily downtime while i'm actually having my downtime so we're trying to wait for a window of opportunity to where uh we can mow i got to take care of some apartment complexes that i wasn't able to knock out this week because of the rain and not only because of the rain i had my truck in the shop you know what i'm saying so had to get my truck out of the shop yesterday they didn't even start on it so i was like you know what i gotta have my truck back because i gotta go knock out some yards you know what i mean so i got my truck back and there's nothing i mean it's not a major issue with the truck i'm having uh exhaust leak one of the bolts in the exhaust manifold broke into broke into the uh the block there so i gotta get that fixed i have a small leak you can kind of hear go and it's been like that's probably like about a year, over a year or so. But I have to get that issue fixed. That way I could get the right tune on my truck. I know it's almost going to be a year and I'm still working on tuning tuning this truck. But I have to result, I have to fix that issue first. And then uh, I'll be able to get the right tune for the truck right now. Because I think right now it's running either lean or rich i don't know i don't remember it's almost been a year so that's what's going on guys we're waiting for a good window of opportunity for the rain to stop so we go knock out these uh two apartment complexes it's been a crazy two weeks two weekends ago we went to san antonio with my family had a family member that was that was getting uh, my cousin's getting married so we went to San Antonio for a wedding, and as we're, we're driving up there um, Saturday, I had this really bad, painful, painful thing on my chest, and it wasn't as bad, but it was sore. And of course, I was, my wife was freaking out. It wasn't as bad; it was still it was bearable, but it was, it just felt tight, felt almost. Uh, sore i guess but as as the day was going on the pain just started get just progressed progressed to where late 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 night in the in the evening we we're still at the wedding i couldn't i couldn't turn my head i couldn't move i couldn't stand so we had to leave the event early this was maybe about 9 30 ish 10 30 ish or so so we're like well we got to go back to to a place we rented and as we got home it was just so bad and this was in san antonio it was just so bad that i couldn't even i couldn't even lay down it was that bad my wife had to almost like cradle me down carefully if i made any sudden move if i coughed if i looked down if i looked sideways i mean lift i couldn't even lift my hands I would I would just have this sharp hard pain in my chest of course on the way to uh to San Antonio earlier that day I was I always get on YouTube and try to you know see diagnose myself right and okay so I was having the pain right here on uh on the left side right between where the sternum and the ribs meet the cartilage right there so I was looking at some videos on YouTube and there's a condition called costochondritis, which is inflammation of the cartilage that bind the uh, ribs and sternum together. So I, I was thinking that's that it's inflamed because I know it's not my heart. It, it wasn't my ticker because about two years ago I went to a cardiologist because I was having those same pains there. And my ticker came out good. No problem there, right? So my heart's good wham bam thank you ma'am so i knew it, it felt like it was something else it was more like muscular skeletal 
thing going on here, right? But the night before I noticed I was sleep, sleeping on my side and that's when, usually when I sleep on my side, that's whenever I start to kind of have them pains or, um, now I've, I've had these pains before, but not as extensive as it was this weekend or that weekend. Like if I'm slumped over or if I'm sitting down on, the cou on my couch and I just had really bad posture, this where I'll, I'll start to kind of feel that pain. But I just stand up, stretch, take a really deep breath, and about five minutes it's gone, right? But this time I tried to do the same thing and it just got worse, it got worse, it got worse. And of course, you know, I slept through that night. And uh, next morning, I couldn't wake up. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't move. I was stiff. So, of course, my wife had to carefully put me. And I was If you guys haven't seen a, or heard a grown man cry, oh, man, y'all guys should have been there. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, I wasn't crying, but, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I was I was in pain. It was bad. So we had to leave leave the place early. We had other family members there. We're like, hey, we got to go back home because, uh, you know, because of the pain. So of course, my it took a minute for me just to get in the truck. My my wife drew, drew, drove, 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 drove. And I mean, it didn't matter what little bump we hit. It just triggered that pain. I was in pain the whole seven hours. So I was we're uh coming back home so of course i told um i mean it, it didn't it didn't matter what position i was it was just, i was just in pain the whole ride my wife was gonna was like, uh wanted just to uh take me to the emergency room i was like no let's just make it let's just go when we get home then you could drop me off at the emergency room so as we're driving you know it potholes it seemed like there's a pothole at every freaking uh intersection or or you know a couple of miles and <laughs> it was just bad then uh yeah once we got home to make a long story short when we got home uh i got dropped off at the er um they took x-rays and of course with the x-rays you're not going to really tell what's really wrong but I kind of told them my symptoms of what's going on. And they're like, yeah, I guess it could be uh, costochondritis. And so they gave me inflammatory, inflammation, anti-inflammation pills and uh, pain pills. So I took that and also they gave me a shot in my butt, which it helped because whenever I went home, I felt a whole lot better, a whole lot better. And of course, uh, for that week, I couldn't work. There's no way I was going to be able to work. So I had uh, had my buddy take care of my important accounts. I missed a lot of the accounts. And also, not only did I not work that week, but it also rained, which kind of, okay, kind of helped delay, you know, my schedule. But then now I got all these customers. Now this is the second week. Week two, the week after, um, we just started getting rained out like we are now, which is this week. So we've been rained, pretty much rained out all week, but I'm still having customers. You didn't come last week and now you're not going to be able to come. I mean, what, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? You got those customers that are like, I need you to mow. I need you to mow. We're having an event this weekend. And actually, uh, one customer dropped me which is which is fine which i mean it, it wasn't a biggie um because you know they needed somebody there but i you know i i can't i'm going solo this year this season and which is good because then that's that's just less less uh headache for me but yeah so we it's been pretty much like this all week yesterday we did have a a dry a uh it didn't it only rained in the morning and then it was uh pretty much sunny the rest of the day but i had this stupid truck in the shop so i couldn't go out and mow i was trying to find people to help uh that i could sub to but everybody's bug everybody's trying to catch up with their own stuff right so i was kind of out of luck there so i called the mechanic and i was like hey have you guys tore my truck apart yet i need my truck i gotta i gotta work so 
thank God they didn't tear my truck apart. And I was able to pick it up yesterday in the afternoon. And so I, I got, got rigged up and everything ready to go. And we're out here waiting. Out here in the rain. But it's supposed to be supposed to clear up probably in the next couple of hours. So once we once the rain stops, even if it's just sprinkling, I'm gonna go out and knock out these apartment complexes because they they've been of course calling me. You gotta come, you gotta come. So I'm gonna go. You know, I may rut up the lawns. I mean, it's gonna be so soggy, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I can't control nature, and um, but I'm gonna try to control my mower where I don't rut it up. I'm gonna have to push mow, which is fine, which is fine. So I think I'm gonna only do these couple of apartments and my residential, they're just gonna have to, they gotta wait, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I woke up again with this pain in my chest today. So I took, I took a pill and hopefully i don't know what it is but i did i caught myself sleeping on my side got caught slipping right and now i got it now when i woke up i woke up with this pain in my chest so like it's like if i squeeze some i don't know if i'm gonna be able to i don't know if i'm gonna be able to to mow or even weedy guys to be honest with you but we're gonna i'm gonna figure we're gonna figure it out here in a little bit so if I'm in pain or whatever, I'm just going to have to stop. And if, you know, if I lose these accounts because I can't get to it, you know, so be it. Like I said, I've, I've reached out to uh, a lot of my friends here in lawn care, but of course they got their, they're, they're trying to catch up as well. And the guy that I usually sub out to, he's busy too, right? He's trying to catch up with work as well. Cause it's, like I said, it's been two weeks of just a uh, nonstop rain. Well, not nonstop raining, but we've been getting just uh rainfall every day so so it's kind of not tough i mean it's tough but you know it is what it is if i lose accounts because of this it's not a problem because i'll, I'll gain some better accounts it is what it is guys but this is a uh, just a daily downtime i got some time and it looks like it might be no it's still going still going so I think we're gonna be here in the truck for about a couple of hours. I'm over here at uh, Burger the King. We may go in there, have some coffee. It's still early, 9.34 Texas time in the morning. So we'll go in there and uh, maybe have some breakfast, have some coffee. Ooh, they got a, br I don't know if you guys like spicy chicken sandwiches, but Burger King has a brand new uh, spicy chicken sandwich and it's, it's dope. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Like, they had the spicy chicken sandwich before, but it was whack. But they got a brand new one. It's on point. It's on point. So, I am i don't know. I may go in there and uh, have a little bit of a... Uh, who's honking at me? We'll go in there and have some uh, spicy chicken sandwich. I'll, I may record it. We'll see, guys. Y'all guys want to see that? We'll see. We'll see. But this is just a daily downtime, guys. A lot of you were asking if I was going to put one out. And this is it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy these daily downtimes. I'll try to do a little bit more. Like I mentioned, I'm going to have regular videos posted every Tuesday, 7 o'clock, every week. So I'm going to try to put post those once a week. So stay tuned. Hit that notification bell button. That way, every time I post a video, you guys get the notification. And if you haven't subscribed, because about... 60% of you guys that watch my videos haven't subscribed yet. So hit that subscribe button right now. Also check out these other videos that I got here. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.